You nervous, bro? <laughs> I'm excited. You excited? Yeah, it's a nice challenge. Yeah. Best of the best. Like the way the first ascensionist did it. It's kind of fun. Fun challenge today for our final final day in the tanks. Hmm. There it is down there. Pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, you good night. And now a lot of pads would be nice. Yeah. Revisiting an old an old legendary boulder that you put out. Oh, gosh, it, it, it just looks so good. I couldn't imagine that that like humans could have put this up. It must have been a god. Must have been. <laughs> like if you're going with one pad, <laughs> one pad and, and one crazy creek chair stuffed up the back of your shirt and down uh, the back of your pants. That uh, it'd be. You'd want, to, you'd want to pick wisely. <laughs> so, I had a helmet on. What the fuck? Yeah, so what is this climb? When did you put it up? Well, I know I had a pad, so it had to be after like 89. It was probably like 91, maybe, or something like that. 91, okay. Yeah, Makes what would it that make it? 30 years old. 30, 30, yeah, 31 years old. Yeah, half a lifetime ago, damn. <laughs> yeah, almost as old as me. Oh. You're probably in diapers when this went up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? You know, actually, if you were wearing a diaper, that would provide some tailbone protection. <laughs> <laughs> so today, I'm going to try and do it in the fashion that John did the FA, which was one single crash pad, and then he had the, a portion of a crazy creek chair. I unfortunately did not have access to a portion of a crazy creek chair today, so I'm going to be using a small portion of a slider pad as. Um, supplementary protection. No spotters since no one would hike out here with John. Um, so I have to also do it sans spotters, which means I need to pick my crash pad placement wisely today. No tick marks either. And no, no tick marks either. <laughs> That's going to probably be the hardest part. <laughs> here, this is hard right here, as I recall. The Zen bit's the hardest bit. Yeah. The the other stuff, if you figure out how to do it, well, it's hard right through here too, like right underneath here. Yeah. Getting into this uh, kind of layaway shit here. Yeah. I mean, once you get that big layaway this thing thing. there, yeah, you're pretty good. Yeah. For I mean, like this last bit is, it's a little weird, but um, probably not. Um, but as I recall, like that layaway there, and getting into that. Um, there was some uh, difficulty in there, so. Mm. How old do you think you were when you put this up, John? 30, I guess 31 or so, 32. Oh, okay. Oh, 32. Cool. Yeah. How old are you now? 34. Oh, you might be too old for it. <laughs> 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 so tell the world, like, what was it like when you found this thing? Like a lot of my, my time at Waco, just you know, I was constantly walking different paths through the park all the time. I would force myself to do that. I would never walk back to the campground the same way, and uh, and so like I just find a lot of stuff, and, and I would always go crawl underneath the boulders because uh -huh. there's so many incredible things. You know, when you find something like the Devil's Butthole or Star Power or something like that, and uh, so then you know came under this and saw these holds and just go like, oh my God, this is the sort of holds that you only find in Hoiko. Yeah, and it you was dream about so, finding this. So cool. And uh, yeah, and I just got kind of transfixed on it and yeah. uh, started coming up here. Uh, other people weren't that psyched. I think I got some people up here once or something like that, but they, did, they didn't like the hike because there's lots of stuff to do in Waco where you didn't have to hike this far. Uh -huh. And so I just kept coming up by myself and, uh, and wow. finally did it. And uh, yeah, one of the best days of my bouldering career. And Hell yeah. It was so Freaking cool, sitting on top after finally doing it and going like, man, this this is what I'm meant to do. This is this is it. This is the ultimate expression that my life can have is is doing problems like this, finding them, figuring them out, putting them up. Yeah. What's it feel like to be back here today? Uh, oh, jeez, you know, I mean, there's a sense of pride going like, damn, I was good enough to do this shit back in the day, and uh, this is a still a little bit of a sense of. Uh, 
sadness that I that I, I probably can't do it now. <laughs> but fuck, I'm 62, so yeah. you know, if, if I could do it now, that would be wonderful. But uh, I think it's probably out of my pay grade these days. So. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty hard boulder problem, even for 2022 standards, which is pretty insane oh. to think you did this thing. 30, oh, yeah. 30 years ago. It was certainly one of the hardest problems in the park at the time. Wow. And it was like, well, it was before Fred got here. And then, uh -huh. you know, I mean, he was otherworldly strong and, and yeah. he took the, the standards to a, 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 a leap when when he showed up. But uh, before he showed up, yeah, this was, this was pretty much, uh, you know, probably one of the 10 hardest problems in the park, I'd say. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Jeremy. Yeah. What do you think? Are you going to do it with just one pad? No, I'm not sure if I'm that bold <laughs> to do it. <laughs> the rock underneath is like really slippery. I don't know. It was probably this slippery back in your day, John. Oh yeah, I don't think that bit's changed. <laughs> uh, it seems like there's a lot of water that comes here. So like, I feel like even if you fall and you try to catch yourself, you might just keep sliding. So, so that's a maybe then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I said maybe. <laughs> This one pad here that seems to be kind of at the crux, and then there's kind of another scary move at the end. Then I'm gonna put this little, this is my other little one that I'm allowed to have. So I think I'm gonna put that right there. And then um, I would like a pad for the bottom, but not allowed. <laughs> not allowed. Put one up your fucking shirt, man. I'm good. Come on. It's too bright. Do you wanna like, wrap a sweater around your head because you're allowed to have a helmet too yeah no you can you can wrap a shirt around your head totally i got my sweater right put here a beanie on no, or something like that I'm not I, can, allowed to use I, I had my beanie on the other day and i put my gloves inside my beanie because <laughs> i want because i wanted a helmet yeah. Uh, yeah that's cool that's allowed ready Nice, dude. Nice. Ooh. Woo. Nice work. Nice. Wow. Baller. Pretty cool, huh, Verm? Huh? Pretty cool. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> In true OG style. Yeah. Got some good, good shots of his feet blowing off and going back. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Made it, made it look challenging. Yeah. Thanks. We like that. It's a hard one. It's good. Yeah, fuck it's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing climb. <laughs>